That's right, y'all. Swag City Radio Station where artists go global. We're here live in the mix, man. It's going down today. When I say it's going down, it's going down today. Man, sometimes I sit back and I think, you know, when I meet a, just a cool-ass female, you know, uh, how can we keep it on the low? But let me tell you something right now. We got one dude that's in the building, man. When I say this dude's in the building, look like he's been doing this since slaves was back way back when. You know what I mean? We got live on the line right now. What's good, Mr. Pepper Boy? What's up with you, man? Wow, man. What it do, man? Just kick it back slow motion right now. What's good with it? Man, you tell me, man. This is hot-ass weather today, right? It's too hot, man. All these ladies is walking around with, with no pants on and, and things popping out. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I, that, I mean, yeah, that's, that, you know, you're talking about that in one of your songs, basically. You know, keep it on the low, you know. The oh, way yeah, you're on the low. <laughs> <laughs> on, on the low, man, that's just a record, like, it just, you got a side check, you know what I'm saying? It just takes you through the different levels of it. We could all relate if you're into that kind of thing. If you're on your faithful tip, you ain't going to like it. But if you, you do your thing like I do my thing, you're going to love it. Right, right. So what's up with you, man? What's what's really going on? I mean, sometimes the people, you know, they get into this game and, like I said, you know, how I did introduce you, you know, you've been doing this for a while, you know. So what's going on with that? How long you been oh, doing man. this? I've been doing this, like, chasing it, chasing it since, like, maybe 09, 2008, man, and, and stepped away from it for a second and tried to, you know what I'm saying, just analyze and see how I can make it work for me, also eat and get the music out at the same time. So... I just been pushing it from there. Right, right. So, I mean, are do you feel like you close? Do you feel like you about to you it's about to pop for you? Do you feel like, you know, you, you still got a long journey ahead? What's going what's going on? Man, the way I see it is and getting into this game is like everything you do before you actually get into it is like filling out your resume, your application so you will be able to work, you know what I'm saying? So, right. I'm just I'm just taking it in there, man. I'm ready and I'm eager to work, you know what I'm saying? So, it's not going to stop. The grind is 24, 24. Right, right. So I want to know, I mean, me personally, you know what I'm saying? Like, how did you get the name Mac Pepper Boy? What's going on, Art? Uh, uh, it, started, it started off with just Pepper Boy. Um, I got this tattoo on my, let me break it down a little bit before that. I was oh, living in Louisiana for a long time, you know what I'm saying? And I used to fuck with cash money, niggas. I, I, I love that shit. So I got a high boy tattoo on my arm. And I was always coming back from California to Louisiana and all that. You know, niggas got jokes and shit, nigga. You not know how, boy. You the pepper boy. So right. that shit kind of stuck. And then when the social networking shit came into play, you know what I'm saying? It was more than one pepper boy, you feel me? And I threw, I threw the Mac on there and it just stuck. It's Mac Pepper Boy. So what they call you for short in the studio? Like, what, what do you go by for short? Like, what's, what's the name Most they give you? call me Pep, you know what I'm saying? P-E-2-P's. Right, right. That's what I could dig it. I could dig it as long as you ain't got that shit like a tramp stamp. You, you all good in my book, man. Because <laughs> yeah. some of these rappers out here, I swear to God, they suspect. You know, <laughs> more than suspect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They take it down for questioning. Right. You know? See, I just gave you a hook, man. You know, take that hook and run with it. If you if you do something with it, man, I want my residual. <laughs> and these, oh, yeah. Yeah, you got that. Rappers is suspect. So let me ask you this. You know, I know you spoke on right now. You spoke about the the Hot Boys, how they, they were inspiring you. But maybe that was then. But who inspires you nowadays? Like, who, who are you listening to? Who's inside your iPod? Oh, man. Let me see who's in my shit now. Uh, I mostly listen to a lot of shit. But it's, it's a couple of niggas out there that they do that shit, man. Like on on a bigger scale, I fuck with Nipsey. I fuck with I Am So Forty, of course. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Um, uh, but I listen to a lot of um, you know what I'm saying cats like myself that's independent. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with my nigga Jet Tanner, Paul Douglas, Speaker Junkies. You know what I'm saying? That the whole squad that I fuck with, I believe they making some real real good music, man. Right. And then you know like uh, you know like I have a problem with hip hop today. You know, uh, it's real commercial. You know what I mean? That's my biggest problem with hip hop. I didn't turn true R and B heads. You know what I mean? You got some good R and B you can sing. I'm listening because a lot of stuff. It, it's nothing wrong with having catchy hooks, but I, you know, I do believe in substance. You know what I mean? Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a problem. Like, I, like you said, I've been doing it for a minute. So, like, right now, everybody's pretty much on the same tip. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, niggas ain't rapping. You feel me? Like, they making good songs with the catchy hooks and all that. But right. you turn the beat off and say, nigga, go. Can you go? <laughs> You know right. what I'm saying? And, and they're going to be all, you know, biting their lips. You feel me? So, it's what it is. Right, right. So, let me ask you. Once you, you know, you, you get to that next level, man, tell me your dream artist to work with. Like, you know, if you go in the studio with that cat, like, and, and it's going to be a banger no matter what. Even if y'all oh. fucking around. Oh, man, right now. Just one. Like, just man. one. Give me your one. Just one. Just one right now off the top of the head. I, I've been wanting to work with Nipsey. You know what I'm saying? So you think, you think if y'all niggas go in the studio, you think that it's going to be a banger off top? It's, it's going to be a banger. It's going to get the streets on to talk about. Mm. So let me ask you. I mean, I, I want to know as a, you know, as a fan, you know, and I'm speaking from a fan perspective, you know, and I'm sure other people might think the same way. When you did your first gig, was you nervous? I'm nervous. Yeah, I like, say nervous. Like, like, I was, give I was me all the hints. Like, just like, I'm the type of nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? If, if it's something in the way, I'm like, let's get it over with. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk about that other shit later. So I think I was more anxious and nervous. And, and like, maybe like the first 10 seconds, once you're in your zone, you're in your zone. You know what I'm saying? You're right. either going to buckle or you're going to prevail. Right, right. And that's true. That's true. You're right. You either you going to get on the toilet or you going to get off. You know what I mean? Either way it goes, you got to make it happen, you know, because you got to gotta, you gotta eat. You know what I mean? You got to get this money. So you can't, you know, you can't fall. You know, you can't, you know, get nervous like that. So let me ask you, what, so let's say you, you finally pop. How, how will, how will you impact the music industry? How, what what can you bring to the table that's already full already? Man, uh, I think what I can bring different to the table is like yeah, everybody can rap, and you know what I'm saying. So my objective is to get the bread. You know what I'm saying to get the bread and actually do something with the bread. Like a lot of our people from our neighborhood, they get the money and you never see them again. You know what I'm saying? Next time you see them, they on TV and they done forgot about you and not actually doing no good out here with it. So, I mean, that's that, that's my angle I come from. Right now, I'm on my independent tip, so I'm cool. But, it, you know, when you got the machine behind you, you got the bigger dollars, and that's, that's how open minds in the play. Right, right. And so, with that being said, you know, um, even though you know it's been a struggle, you know, getting to the top or at least getting the recognition that you want, what what is it about this industry, about the music, about doing music that makes you even want to continue? What what lights your fire, man? What what's keeping what's keeping Pepper Boy going? You know what I mean? The music, man, it it just lives inside me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if it, if I didn't like doing it, I wouldn't do it. I go work at the grocery store. I go, you know what I'm saying? I do it because I love it. You know what I'm saying? And if I didn't love it, I couldn't do it. Right, right. I'm, 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 like you said, a fan. Speaking from a fan, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of a lot of different genres of music. It's just not just rap. You know what I'm saying? I love music as a whole. Right, right. It, it, like, give give me some examples of some something else you listen to. Something else I listen to. Like I dibble and dabble in country music. You know what I'm saying? I listen to a lot of pop music. Any anything that that catches my ear, I, I listen to it. I don't just shut it out. You gotta keep an open mind with it. Right, right. I mean, that's true. You can't just, you know what I'm saying, shut out, you know, creativity. You know what I mean? For the most part, at least that's my personal opinion because that's one thing I love about doing radio. You know, um, I get to hear everything. And then, you know, I have to listen to it with an open ear. So even some stuff I don't like or, I've, or you know, I'm more, I'm more able to say, hey, you need to go back to the studio or remix that, do your vocals, you know, don't do so many unders, you know, all that kind of stuff. It, it's just like... It's a learning process, and it's it's dope watching people grow. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like one day, I mean, when you go in the studio, it's it's nothing there. So basically, you just sitting and you vibing with whoever's there with you, and you got a clean slate, and you just yell go and let the creative juices flow. And and if you can come out with a hit, man, you did your thing. Definitely, definitely. So, um, tell me a little bit about like what's going on with you because I have a couple of questions from the female staffers. And they want to know about you. They said they saw your picture, and they was like, "Damn, you, you know, I'm not saying this." So pause. Everybody, do not take this the way I'm saying it. I'm repeating what they said. They didn't gone home for the day. So I want to know. Well, they want to know, not me. 
One girl says, hold on, let me pull the paper. She says, damn you fine. What's up with you? What's up with me? So let me re let me let me say that in English. Ladies yeah. want to know, are you single, man? What's going on? I, I'm not. I don't got no ring on my finger. Tell me, look at my picture again. Oh. If you ain't married, you're single. You know what I'm saying? Let's <laughs> right, right. I guess, uh, ladies, you heard that. There's no salt to go with that pepper. <laughs> but you gotta be about something though. We would, last year they did it for the ratchets. This year I'm doing it for a different reason. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit. Oh. Uh oh. Ain't no romance without the, unless she got finance, huh? Yeah, pursuing <laughs> something I don't give a shit. If you a button sore, be the best button sore you could be. <laughs> so let me ask you, what what's like if if Pepper Boy was to wine and dine a woman? You know what I mean? Uh, you know, somebody caught your eye. What is Pepper Boy doing to 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 Man. go at her and, and take her out? Give 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 the ladies a paint them a picture of the ideal. Uh, first day with Pepper Boy, man. Uh, uh, the first day with me, uh, let's see. I, don't, I love food. First of all, I, I'm from California where we stay medicated, so I always got a little appetite. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm going to try, try to take you somewhere you ain't been. You understand what I'm saying? And then after we do that, we go do some kind of outdoor activity. I like, you know what I'm saying? Miniature golf, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, just something spontaneous. I don't, I don't really like plans like that. You know what I'm saying? So... That's how we live it. So basically, a date with you is just pretty much off the top, like a like a freestyle. Yeah, like a freestyle. It, it, it's gonna be a spur of the moment type thing. I'm never really in town that much, so if I hit you and say, "Hey, let's go whoop whoop to eat," you never know. We might end up in Vegas in the morning. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's, it's no telling. Damn, Pepper Boy doing it like that. You hear that lady's man said, "What's an eighty dollar flight? Let's get it." You know what I mean? It's nothing. You know what I'm saying? He gonna he gonna knock salt shakers and pepper pepper shakers together. We gonna make it happen. I dream of I dream of yeah, pepper. Yeah, we need some of them pepper girls for the team. You know what I mean? Right, right. So I want to talk about. Let's get into your music, man. Let's talk. Let's talk about this this track on the low, man. How did this come together? What made you? It sound like a real summer track. You know what I mean? Like like something you could just listen to, cruise. You know what I mean? And and, and, and niggas are scheming. Yeah, the track came back, man. Um, my boy Jeff Tanner shot me the beat, and I took it to the house, got medicated, of course. You know what I'm saying? And I threw the beat on, and it, it just spoke to me. You know what I'm saying? It was like on and low. And at the time, I had a couple of chicks that was hanging from strings or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't want nobody to know. So right. the, the, hook, the hook just told me what the beat told me what to say. Right, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. It's, it's, it's real simple. It's real catchy, and I think that's, that's what it's about. And I could, I could definitely picture this one at the strip club. You know what I mean? At least, you know, for the most part. So you want to go ahead and introduce this song, man? Let the, let the people know. Hey, introduce man, Pepper this, Boy, this, man. Look, man, I'm Mac Pepper Boy. I want you to check my song out, man. It's called On the Low, produced by Jet Tanner. Something you could maybe pop a little bottle of wine to, let the top down, go down the highway. You choose. That's right, y'all. Live, direct. Keep it on the low. Pepper Boy, y'all. Swag City Radio Station where artists go global. Let's go. On the low, though. Keep it on the low. On the low, though. Keep it on the low. On the low, though. Keep it on the low. My little secret ain't nobody gotta know. On the low, though. Keep it on the low. On the low, though, keep it on the low. On the low, though, keep it on the low. My little secret ain't nobody gotta know. You scared, but don't be shy. I know you won't fuck, I can see it in your eyes. Mama, I'm a pro, you already know. The champagne pole while I'm taking off your clothes. The post for the Kodak, you love the way you throw that. Deep inside, you had your moaning to the morning. Oh, you freak, I beat them cheeks. You half wet stains all over your sheets. Do your thing, oh, you hot. You almost there, I take you to the top. The way she work that, twerk that, no one finna murk that. Hop on top to serve that, lil' mama heard that. On the low, though, keep it on the low. On the low, though, keep it on the low. On the low, though, keep it on the low. My little secret ain't nobody gotta know. On the low, though, keep it on the low. On the low, though, keep it on the low. On the low, though, keep it on the low. My little 
a secret, ain't nobody got to know. Keep it 100, I'm looking at your woman. And like a track star, baby girl, I run it. Ain't that something? I got it on lock. They call me Pepper Boy. And yeah, I'm hot. You like my swag, but damn, you cute. I'm trying to see you up in your birthday suit. Make it do what it do. I'm that times two. And like your tattoos, I'm all on you. Yeah, you bad. Let me see it from the back. You got a little bubble, I can handle all that. Meet me in the room, I'll be there in a minute. I'm finna get the spread, I'll be there when I'm finished. But keep it on up, on the low, though. Keep it on the low, low. On the low, though. Keep it on the low, low. On the low, though. Keep it on the low, low. My little secret, ain't nobody gotta know. On the low, though. Keep it on the low, low. On the low, though. Keep it on the low, low. On the low, though. Keep it on the low. My little secret, ain't nobody got a nice know. camera action. I love the way your back bend. Every time she to the big daddy, gon' grab it. Oh, so savage. Yeah, you a bad bitch. Looking all fly with your hair ring and nails dead. Keep it on the low, ain't nobody got to know. How you, how you get down from the bed to the floor with your high heels on. Take the things off, I beat it out the frame. You can suck it to the soft. Oh, that's it, little mama, you a fool. My soccer the bottom, wetter than the pool. That you bad, I dig your steeds. But keep it on the low, you know how I gotta be. On the low, though, keep it on the low. low. On the low, though, keep it on the low. low. That's right, that's right, that's right. Swag City Radio Station where artists go global, man. Right here, live in the mix with Mac Pepper Boy, man. Keep it on the low. On the low, though. Keep it on the low. I like that, man. Yeah. I could, I could picture that, man. That, that's, that should be your ringtone. Yeah, that's, that should be your, that should be a stripper ringtone right there, though. Y'all, y'all hear him? Strippers take his advice. Right, stripper ringtone. I mean, basically, y'all getting y'all tips. Keep it on the low. Don't let the next bitch know. So what's up, man? I hear now. I hear. Uh, I've been reading some things and hearing some things. I'm watching Facebook, all that. And so tell me about Loop Productions, man. Loop Productions, I see, I mean, I'm starting to hear it, hear it, hear it everywhere. So what's going on with that, man? It's starting to make a name for itself. Yeah, yeah. Loop Productions is doing, is doing a thing, man. I like, they coming from, uh, they've been, I've been knowing them about a, like a year and some change. You know, I was with a, um, another company at the time when uh, meeting them, but I've been fucking with them real tough since they beginning. You know what I'm saying? I've seen they growth like, you think shit gonna take them years to get the baby? You know what I'm saying? They moving like a freight train going downhill. Right, right. Yeah, I seen that you guys did like a fashion show. It was like a fashion show, and then it was the uh, the Paul Douglas yeah. release party. You know what I'm saying? Um, and a few other little things. You know what I mean? So is that is that what's there? You think that's what to expect from Loop uh, from Loop Productions, or what's going on? Uh, what you gonna expect? From Blue, from Blue Productions, man, is always a, a quality event. Like some people, they they let the um the not so talented people, you know what I'm saying, do their thing. But when you come to Lou, when you come to Blue Productions show, you gonna see a nice girl show, dope. You know what I'm saying, all the way through, man. And that fashion show, if you missed it, man, we had one last year too, man. And it was the first one in my area I'm from San Bernardino, California. We did it again this year. It's like, you know what I'm saying, an urban fashion show, just bring the community together type of deal. It was a lovely thing. Right, right. Now, I read a little thing on your bio, man, and, you know, my people, man, is from uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, and I see that's where you're from, man. What's going on with that? Oh, 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 let, let me clear that up before I go. <laughs> let me go, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was born in L.A., you know what I'm saying? I came and I came out to the Inland Empire, so I've been from the Inland Empire to Shreveport, Louisiana, my whole life. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like uh, you you call it type of thing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Shreveport, Louisiana, man, I love that city, man. It's it's, it's super popping. They support real nice down there. Yeah, man, that's 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 where my people's from, man. I, some place called the Cooker Road. I know it's like. Oh, they from the Cooker Road. Okay, I see you. <laughs> that's, that's that's my people, man. I've been there one time, man. The mosquitoes ate me up. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> they ate me yeah, up. They, I'm they scratching no thinking jokes, about it. Man. They got mosquitoes big as fucking flying cockroaches out there, man. Right, and then I remember my great grandma. She told me she, when my grandma got in trouble, she used to make her walk outside barefoot, and the fire ants used to get her. I'm like, that's torture. Why would you even tell somebody like that? That's torture. Oh, man. Man. Yeah, that's all that. So I'm noticing, man, and it's just, maybe it's just me, but I'm noticing in your, um, 
in your rap style, man. It's it's got this like Cali Southern, you know what I mean? It's got this Cali Southern thing going on, man. Like it is I like it, man. It's it's like it's dope. It's different. I try to do, I try to do it like you know what I'm saying. My mix on thing, like I said, I spent a lot of time here and I spent a lot of time there. So I got a lot of game from here and I got a lot of from there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the pepper boy, so I just see that stuff going out and, and let people decide they don't get it. Yeah, you got like this BG thing going. You got oh, is like, that right? Yeah, it's got like this BG flavor to it, man. Okay. You know okay. Well, BG's a legend, so I'll take that as a compliment. You know right. Right. It's got, I mean, I hear it in your voice, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's just like that, that bassy, southern Cali, Cali thing going on. So, uh, you know, I would definitely do it like Cali Southern. That's what, that's, that's what that mix is, Cali Southern. Yeah, yeah, man. Definitely just throw my own flavor on it. I don't, I don't know where I got my voice from. Um, I found it and I kept it. That's what's up, man. Continue to do that, man. So I heard you did like you opened up for like people like Glasses Malone and the New Boys, man. It, what's going on with that? Yeah, I, I did that. That was uh, a couple of years ago um, with, with with Glasses. I did a couple shows with him, the New Boys. Uh, they was filming a movie. Um, this is why we jerked. The reason why we jerked. One of the name. One of those is the name of it at the Key Club before they shut it down in um, Hollywood. Right. And, and it, was, it was super nice. It was super nice. We did that. Numerous things, you know what I'm saying? Nipsey Hustle shows. Uh, I was on tour for a little hot second with, with a couple of members of Black Wall Street. And so I just try to stay busy as much as possible. Right. Uh, so I want to I get your personal opinion because, you know, you're, you're an artist. What do you think about this T.I., you know what I'm saying, trying to take on Floyd Mayweather? You know, what you, what's your opinion <laughs> on that? You think he goofy oh, for that? <laughs> oh man, I I don't know, man, because we all got our moments. We're like, can't nobody tell us shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's Comics Floyd, man. That's not Money Mayweather. He, he, yeah, that's what he do. Yeah, you ever seen? You ever seen an ant, a, a flea on a dog? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They trying to do what they gotta do. Yeah, but I, I mean, if he take a picture of my girl, me I ain't even complaining. Me personally, I, I wouldn't do it. Me personally, I wouldn't do it. Right, it's not that serious. Like, okay, she took a picture with him, so you know what I mean. That's what I saw. I saw it was a pic. She took a picture with him. He Mayweather. Now Ti mad about it. Mayweather said, "Get your bitch," and then he want to swing on him. I that's a bitch move to me personally. I mean, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, I wouldn't maybe, hit the. Maybe it was his choice of words. Maybe it was his choice of words. Probably. Uh, no. Probably so. You know, maybe even because you know, remember Mike Tyson? I mean, imagine it was Mike Tyson. Which uh, he, he slapped your girl ass. Would you go hit him? No, that's, see, that's, he, he a whole different nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, Floyd Mayweather, like, you know what I'm saying? You might catch him with a lucky one and knock him down. I Tyson doubt he ain't been knocked out ever. This dude is undefeated. Ever. 42, you know 43, and 0. You gotta take yours as much as you can. Forty three and zero. Remember, forty three and zero. Thirty seven. What was it? Thirty seven million dollars for for a fight? Oh, come on, man. You ain't touching that dude. And he he quick too. And he Very can't. Quick. He, well, you know what? What but they said that he couldn't. He couldn't swing if he wanted to. Because he would have went to jail. So would have went to jail. Think about it. His hands are registered, man. They're a deadly weapon. Yeah, no, but you just got fired on. <laughs> you, know you know what I mean? But, That's when you call somebody else to come do your work for you. Feel me? Yeah, they both they both on a different caliber. You know what I'm saying? We got to set a better example than that, Joe, man. Right. Real talk. So let me ask you, what advice would you give a new and upcoming artist that's new to the that's new to this rap scene? Man, first thing I would say is do your homework. You know what I'm saying? Do your homework. Learn how to rap. Right. Don't don't be the next him. Be the first you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We, we got enough. We got enough for everybody that's out already. You know what I'm saying? So and just and just work hard. If you work hard, there ain't nothing nobody can tell you. You dictate what you do. Right. So let me ask you. You got any upcoming any upcoming gigs? Any upcoming shows? Yeah, I'm actually on my way to a show as soon as I finish finish this up. We uh y'all can check me out live tonight at like eight thirty on Empire TV. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do that and then in August we doing a yacht party. And if you're in the Southern California area, you're gonna wanna check this out, man. Y'all get at me about that. It's gonna be super play. You know what I'm saying? 
Oh, you got a yacht party going? Oh, nah, man. I, 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 this I, I, ain't I, no rowboat. This ain't a rowboat. You know what I'm saying? I say yacht. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I might have to come check that out myself. Swag City Radio might have to be in the building uh, re- reporting and recording live. You know what I mean? Probably come on there and do some live recording. You know, and uh, I'm going to definitely talk to Lou Productions about that one. You hear me, Lou? We coming. <laughs> Swag City no, Radio going to try no, to come on the not. boat. <laughs> no, no, see, we can't call it a boat. We can't call it a boat. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Yeah, you got to add the extra at the end because it's just that fancy. Right. You can't even, you know, bottles popping, mo- you know, models and thoughts, thoughts everywhere. There's going to be black thoughts. I don't know thoughts. too many people that can say that they've been on a yacht. You know what I'm saying? But then to see, you know what I'm saying, a, a hip hop show on a yacht. But we also will have a little R&B artist on there too. So, man, we got something for everybody. Right, right. So let me ask you, how, if people want to reach you, how can they find you? You can find me the same way everywhere, Mac Pepperboy. M-A-C-K-P-E-P-P-E-R-B-O-Y. No spaces. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that, ladies? No spaces. This is just enough room for the two of y'all. No spaces. Mm. <laughs> man, it's been a pleasure, man. Definitely having you here on the air, man. Definitely been a pleasure, man. You went, you had any shout outs? What's going on? Yeah, man, just shout out to my whole team, man, Lou Productions, Lou, you know what I'm saying, Darrell, the Vida, the Jockeys, my nigga Paul Douglas, my brother, Jet Tanner, man, we, we finna hit this show, man, we finna get live, like I said, man, y'all check me out, TV, man, y'all check me out, it's going down. Y'all hear that? InlandEmpireLive.tv, you know what I'm saying, it's going down, if ladies, if, uh, my, my staff telling me, check them out. See him on TV, you know what I'm saying? Be at his next show, be the next thought. I don't know what the fuck a thought is. What is a thought? What is this all about? It's a, it's a super big boat. It's like a boat on steroids. No, not a yacht. A thought. You know, you be like, oh, T H O D. What is it? Oh man, that's that's that new nigga shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Dude, you gotta ask them youngsters about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my my take on it thought is this, this bitch is a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, you know, they said the first person was Michael Jackson calling out thoughts from that song. Remember the time when he like da da da. Yeah, right. Yeah, they said, I'm like, really? Y'all, y'all just changing these names up, huh? Y'all go from it's crazy. But, anyways, man, it's been a pleasure, man, having you on the show, man. It really has been. My pleasure, my man. Man, once again, we appreciate you. We're going to leave y'all out on this note, man. Keep it on the low right here live, man. Pepper Boy. Man. That's what it is. Let's go. On the low, low, keep it on the low, low. On the low, low, keep it on the low, low. On the low, low, keep it on the low, low. My little secret ain't nobody gotta know. On the low, low, keep it on the low, low. On the low, low, keep it on the low, low. On the low, low, keep it on the low, low. My little secret ain't nobody gotta know. You scared, but don't be shy. I know you won't fuck, I can see it in your eyes. Mama, I'm a pro, you already know. The champagne pole while I'm taking off your clothes. And the post for the Kodak, you love the way you throw that. Deep inside, you had your moaning to the moaning. Oh, you freak, I beat them cheeks. Your half wet stains all over your sheets. Do your thing, oh, you hot. You almost there, I take you to the top. The way she worked that, twerk that, no one finna murk that. Hop on top to serve that, lil mama heard that. On the low, though, keep it on the low, low. On the low, though, keep it on the low, low. On the low, though, keep it on the low, low. My little secret ain't nobody gotta know. On the low, though, keep it on the low, low. On the low, though, keep it on the low, low. On the low, though, keep it on the low, low. My little secret ain't nobody gotta Let's know. Keep it 100. I'm looking at your woman. And like a track star, baby girl, I run it. Ain't that something? I got it on lock. They call me Pepper Boy, and yeah, I'm hot. You like my swag, but damn, you cute. I'm trying to see you up in your birthday suit. Make it do what it do. I'm at times two, and like your tattoos, I'm all on you. Yeah, you bad, let me see it from the back. You got a little bubble, I can handle all that. Meet me in the room, I'll be there in a minute. I'm finna get the spread, I'll be there when I'm finished. But keep it on up, on the low, though, keep it on the low, low. 
Time she too the big daddy gon' grab it. Oh, so savage. Yeah, you a bad bitch. Looking all fly with your hair ring and nails dead. Keep it on the low. Ain't nobody gotta know. How you, how you get down from the bed to the floor with your high heels on. Take the things off. I beat it out the frame. You can suck it to the salt. Oh, that's it. Little mama, you a fool. Masako the bottle. Wetter than the pool. That you bad. I dig your steeds. But keep it on the low. You know how I gotta be. On the low, though. Keep it on the low. On the low, though. Keep it on the low. On the low, though. Keep it on the low. My little secret ain't nobody gotta know. On the low, though. Keep it on the low. On the low, though. Keep it on the low. Keep it on the low. My little secret ain't nobody gotta know.